One of the big celebrities that a lot of people had had their eye on is Tom Brady, the New England's Patriot quarterback, and Shannon Hogan. You saw him out at Spyglass Hill today, I lucky did girl. I out at Spyglass. I was actually going to catch up with VJ Singh because he was having a good round out there early this morning. And Tom was also out there. And actually, as I was walking the course at Spyglass, I ran into his dad and his mom. Oh, and they're actually sweet. down from Northern California to catch the round. And there's some interesting golf history with the family. So I had a time. Giselle out here as well? Giselle is not here, and neither is the new baby, but I did have a chance to talk with his dad about golf and the family and coming out to the at and Tom Brady might be an NFL star, but he's been swinging a golf club since he could walk. First father's son was when he was three years old. So he's been playing his pretty much his whole life. He learned how to play liar's dice when he was five years old in, in one of our uh, escapades to the bar after one of the rounds of golf. Years later and the father-son bond on the course is still strong. Tom Sr. walked along Spyglass Hills cheering for his quarterback son and giving some pointers too. I love looking over there and seeing my dad saying keep your left shoulder in there. And, you know, he's someone that's seen my swing for a long time. Tom Brady and his dad have been coming to the AT&T since he was a kid, but playing in the tournament is one of his many dreams to come true. The three-time Super Bowl champ had Patriots fans following him all 18 holes. Even Tom Sr. was sporting his son's first Super Bowl ring. He gave it to me uh, right after he won it, and it kind of blew me away. I, um, I said, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll take the next one, and you take this one. It's too, too many injuries and too many hours of practice. And he said, Dad, I want you to have the first one. I'll take the second one. And while the younger Brady struggled in the rough a few times today, just being on the course was enough to make him happy. It's awesome. I mean, there's, there's not many experiences like this. Um, you know, we get so well taken care of by everybody, and you know, the weather's great, and the golf course is great. Um, you know, it's just really one of those unique things that you get to do, and you really count your blessings each year. So, Tom, obviously excited to be out here, and the fans following him, they really are devoted. I it's can not just that. the ladies, it's a lot of football fans out there <laughs> yeah. as well. And I had a chance to talk to Tom Sr., and he said, you know, when he was playing high school ball and even college ball, they never fathomed that he would be this big of a deal. They actually just see him as another one of their kids. So, Good support in that family. It seems like a good family and there. And this weekend, just out there, just their son, just playing golf, just having yeah, good time. No, no big deal. And actually, his sisters came down as well. And it's a big family function. They try to do it as often as they can. And actually, he was playing today. One of the other amateurs with him was actually the surgeon that did his knee last year. And that's why he wasn't here last year. But he does tend to come out whenever he can to do the pro-am. And loves the Pebble Beach area. Loves it.